Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sigai, board certified dermatologist. This video is sponsored by YesStyle. Thank you so much for sending me a nice big box of Asian beauty products that I was able to handpick. I saw what was very popular out there and some things that you had requested that I review. So I got this box and out of that box, I was able to handpick further two of my favorite moisturizers and two of my favorite sunscreens. So let's jump into it, let's go. Okay, so let's start off with a K-Beauty product. This is I'm From Mugwort Cream. So it's called I'm From, the brand, and it's a mugwort cream. And mugwort is originating from Korea's tea tree. And their version of the tea tree is in Ganghua, Korea. And this cream contains 73.55% mugwort. Mugwort is supposedly full of antioxidants. Antioxidants definitely are great in skincare because it blocks free radical damage oxidative stress from all of these external factors, pollution, sunlight, and such. So with this being an antioxidant cream, it does two things. It's soothing and, well, actually three things. It's soothing, it's moisturizing, and it's also full of antioxidants. So the trifecta of what we want, what we want our money to go towards, I'm definitely into three in one skincare products for sure. So let's try this guy out. I've been impressed by him. It's not too botanical smelling. I've actually really come to like this. Nice consistency in the jar. So just putting a small amount on, nice and soothing. And it's also a cool texture. Kind of reminds me of Kiehl's, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, where it's just nice and cool and coming out of the jar. Very soothing doesn't pill or leave a film at all. You can just tell the quality of this product is very high end, but the cost is also very affordable at the same time. It smells nice. So um, this is a big thumbs up. I'll probably do a dedicated YouTube video just on this later, but I just wanted to introduce this to you guys real quick. After a few minutes, this my skin's feeling fresh. There's no sting. Definitely compare this with your retinoid or your antioxidant vitamin C serum. You can layer them, don't mix them, but just layer them. So you can put your vitamin C serum on first and follow up with the mugwort cream or your retinoid at night and then follow up with your mugwort cream. It's also fine for oily skin. It's not too thick. It actually melts in very well. So this is one of my top two picks of the box for moisturizers. All right, next will be Cause RX Snail Mucin. So Snail Mucin, I'm totally serious. I like this a lot. Uh, I really like their essence, their power essence, 96. So that one's 96% snail mucin. This one is their advanced snail 92 all-in-one cream. Uh, it's in a kind of a interesting packaging. I don't know if I really like it. Um, it's kind of like this cheap black lid here, twist off. It gets pretty messy, but the contents of it is very amazing. This is actually one of my favorite moisturizers. Um, this is 92% snail secretion filtrate. And it says that cream helps naturally create the appealing glow of healthy skin. So snail mucin, I've actually found a sci some scientific papers on it. It has wound healing properties. It's soothing. In a moisturizer, it works beautifully. So I want to show you this gooey, sticky moisturizer. But sticky out of the jar, but does not feel sticky on the face. I have to watch what I say. What you see here is a completely different story of what you're gonna deal with on your skin. But look at that. Ooh, I was kind of disappointed. I thought this uh, there would be a spoon or, or a spatula that comes with this, but just get your fingers in, I guess. But if I, I don't know where my, um, I don't have any clean spatulas right now, so I'm just gonna show you with my fingers going in. So it gets, ooh. This reminds me of one of the movies. I What movie is this that reminds this reminds me of Ghostbusters? Maybe Ghostbusters. All right. Wow. Put it on the other side of my face here. Like natto. <laughs> this is the ultimate soothing experience right here. No snails are harmed in the making of this. I think I read that these snails just walk across like a grate and the mucin is just collected without harming them at all. 
So Cause RX, I really like the brand. I've tried their pimple patches before. Like I said, I tried the 96 Power Essence. This is just fantastic. Definitely gives my, my skin a nice hydrated look. Pretty dewy. Love this for either in the summer or winter because it's actually pretty lightweight despite looking at how thick and sticky uh, and gooey it is uh, coming out of the jar. It actually is fine for oily skin, sensitive skin. Um, people with rosacea, I can imagine tolerating this just fine. So Korean beauty products, ahead of the curve there for moisturizers, mugwort and snail mucin. Next are two great Japanese beauty products, sunscreens. Out of the sunscreens I've reviewed, K-Beauty and J-Beauty, I just feel like these Japanese products, these sunscreens really understand my skin. It makes sense, I'm Japanese. I go to Japan, they say, no, you're not Japanese, you're American, you're too big to be a, a Japanese person. Fine, yeah, but anyways, I am, my lineage dates back to Japan uh, from both sides, my, both, both of my parents. And so I just feel like with my combination skin, I finally have sunscreen that understands me. So I did review before Biore's UV Aqua Watery Essence favorably in the past. This is their newest one. This is their Aqua Rich Light Up Essence SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. And then this is Hada Labo's UV White Gel. So Hada Labo, Hada means skin and Labo means lab. So skin lab. And this is made by Skin Lab. And this is SPF 50 plus PA 4 plus. And I'm just really excited to talk about both of these. So let's talk about Biore real quick. So this actually has titanium dioxide, one mineral UV filter, plus three chemical UV filters, including octanoxate, which us Americans are very familiar with. It's a UVB filter, plus two other chemical UV filters, Uvinyl A+, and Uvinyl T150. So my critique for the other, the predecessor, uh, Aqua Rich Watery Essence was that the smell is pretty overpowering. This is just released in 2021, and they still keep the micro defense technology going where the sunscreen is designed to fall into the small micro crevices of the skin to give you even protection. So whenever using sunscreen that is pretty liquidy or an essence, Definitely shake it well. You wanna distribute the sunscreen ingredients well, especially the UV filters. Let's try this out. So I'm putting this right over the moisturizer and let's, and I like that none of them pill when you layer them. I think this is just great. The smell is not nearly as powerful as the um, previous, the watery essence. They've really toned it down, which is with my major critique. And I feel like they this they made this sunscreen just for me because this is everything I want. It's just lightweight, blends in so well, and it smells a little bit like alcohol, but it doesn't dry my skin out, okay? It actually does really well with my oily T-zone, and it actually gives my cheeks that a little drier, a little dewy look. So what do you think? No white cast at all, which is to be expected for a predominant chemical UV filtered sunscreen. So uh, the titanium is in there, but it's not thick. Might be a little bit thicker than the aqua uh, rich watery gel, or the watery essence, but I don't mind it. This is great. So this was one of my top picks here. This is also water resistant 80 minutes. So big plus there. Similar to its predecessor, it has this hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate. Plus it has royal jelly extract. So very similar in terms of ingredients, but the smell like that's toned down, big plus. So let's talk about Hada Labo's UV white gel. It comes in a jar. Interesting for a sunscreen to come in a jar like this, but look how silky soft. It is a gel, but it's very, it's not very viscous. Can see how it moves around very easily in this jar so be careful not to spill it and you know make sure to get enough on but wow look at that such an interesting texture here so always make sure you put enough on and let's see it glide on my skin this has no fragrance it's a blend of chemical uv filters and even though i put a generous amount on my face i'm going to show you a magic trick this blends in so well. And the way it sits, it sits on the skin, penetrates the stratum corneum, 
really adds hydration, makes my skin feeling ready for the day, nice and hydrated, while being protected with an SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus. Holy cow. Almost looks like I just rinsed my face with water. I just have this little dewy look to my face and it really doesn't leave any white cast whatsoever. So pretty amazing stuff. It is based off of chemical UV filters. So you shouldn't have a white cast as readily, but man, this really does just feel nice on my skin. So again, like I said, skincare should be about the sensorial experience. And I actually look forward to putting this on. Maybe I do wish having, in terms of a sunscreen, I do wish that this would um, come in more of a squirt bottle tube for ease, especially on the go, especially for reapplication. If your hand's a little dirty, you don't want to be getting your fingers in there and pulling out the jar. Maybe it would be good to measure with a, a teaspoon because you should be using a half teaspoon amount to your face, ears, and neck, and maybe have a teaspoon uh, dedicated just for your skincare to uh, scoop out the appropriate amount of sunscreen to apply to your face. Um, so yeah, I think maybe just the jar is a little uh, interesting. I'll probably use this more for like everyday use instead of bringing it to the beach and digging my sandy fingers in there um, to apply it to my face. But man, really impressed by these Asian beauty products. In terms of, of hydration, the, it has the humectant hyaluronic acid in this, but it also has an antioxidant friend hidden in there, the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a stable form of vitamin C. It's not ascorbic acid, so it's not as active as ascorbic acid. So it's not your OG ascorbic acid that you look for on the ingredient list, but this does have some antioxidant properties as well. Big plus there, good job, Hada Labo. I'll be doing individual uh, videos on each of these to go more in depth with them, but I just wanted to do a broad overview. So thank you, YesStyle, for sending this box. I'm gonna be doing more videos on the other products as well but just wanted to highlight my favorites if you've tried any of these products please leave a comment down below let me know and also let me know if there are any other korean beauty or j beauty products you want me to review please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button guys thanks so much for supporting the channel i hope you enjoy hearing a board certified dermatologist's view on the asian beauty world and i'm really glad i got exposed to it i don't think if i don't think i ever would have gotten into this um Asian beauty skincare world if I didn't join social media last year. So just being a year into it, I'm so glad I've joined social media to connect with you guys, but also to try these Asian beauty skincare products because they are in many ways light years ahead of the American uh, skincare industry for certain aspects. You know, sunscreen, very neat how they're using these UV filters that we haven't approved yet. So um, yeah, let's keep talking about these products. And I like that you can get these authentic products at um, YesStyle, okay? So I'll have a, a link and code down below that you could use when you shop there. And hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, guys. Peace.